Okay, maybe that'll work. All right. Wanted to do a video today about the second most asked question when people buy their timeshare. Now, either they ask it right after they buy it or they ask it after they get frustrated with availability or not being able to use it in the way that they think they're going to use it. Usually people who um, are unhappy with their timeshare are unhappy because they didn't buy enough points to do what they want to, to vacation with and where they want to. Um, or they can't get availability. They call it at sometime maybe three months out and find that the resort is fully um, fully booked and they can't get in there. So, uh, or they have a job that won't allow them to make advanced reservations, uh, which makes it hard with a timeshare. But for whatever reason, if you want out of your timeshare, that's what I wrote the, or I'm making the video for, making the video for you. Uh, Timeshares are sticky. They're very difficult to get out of. Once you bought them, generally, you're stuck. Um, but they're, but let's discuss this anyway to go through it. Um, if you're just out of the timeshare presentation and you have just made an agreement to purchase your timeshare, the first thing that you want to consider is to rescind your contract, to give it back. Um, and most states have a 10 day recension period where you can actually get out of the contract that you signed and you have to, um, you have to, it varies by state. You can have eight days or 14 days. Uh, so look at your contract and follow the instructions on your contract specifically. So the first option for everybody when they buy their timeshare is whether they want to keep it or not. So you get out of the presentation, you do your due diligence, and you decide, hey, I made a mistake. I don't want to have this timeshare. It's easy within the first recension period. After that, it gets much more difficult. So ask yourself, am I within the recension period? Is it possible through the contract to get out of my obligations from the contract? And if, it, if it's possible, then follow the instructions that you were given at the presentation and get out. Okay, if it's not an option to get out for the recension period, then learn to use your timeshare. Now there's two ways that you can use your timeshare. One way, you get your money back. So you could, you could rent out the time. So you make a reservation through your timeshare, um, you let your cousin use the reservation and they pay you $1,100 for the week. Okay, then you take your $1,100, you put it back towards the expense of your timeshare, come out even hopefully. Um, or use it in, in vacation with your timeshare, that's why you bought it. And timeshares are nice, they have great destinations, they have great facilities, great resorts. Um, so I'm not anti-timeshare, I'm just anti all the money that it costs when you buy a developer. But if you're in that situation and you've spent your $60,000, have it use it and go on vacations or rent it out. Okay, the next question you need to ask yourself, if you're not within the recension period, did you take out a loan? If you took out a loan, is it paid off? If it's paid off, then you can either use it or you can sell it or give it away. But if you have a loan in that time that you're paying for it, here's your options. Use it, vacation, or rent it out. But if you don't have a loan any longer, then you can sell your timeshare. You don't have to go back through the developer. You can sell it to anybody that wants to buy it. You can get online and say, hey guys, who wants to buy my timeshare? Or better yet, if you're in a hurry, then who would take my timeshare if I gave it away. My particular timeshare has a transfer fee of $500. And there's a, about a three month period where you pass some paperwork back and forth. The paperwork's downloadable online. Not really a big deal to transfer ownership to someone else. The biggest deal is do you owe money on it? Now you might say, well, I do owe money on it, but I'm gonna sell it and pay off this loan. Well, the reason you can't do that is because often your loan is $60,000, but the value or what someone is willing to pay for your timeshare is 
is less than two thousand dollars so unless you're going to go ahead and fork up that fifty eight thousand dollar difference and pay your loan off then you can't transfer your timeshare until the loan's paid off okay so this this is what i have trouble with this is why timeshare bought in the from the developer is not such a good idea because often those loans are 35, 45, 55, 60 thousand dollars and when you go to look at selling it or transferring it you find out it's not worth very much at all and that you're way upside down on your loan and there is no way out of that easily okay now you hear about timeshare exit companies um, timeshare companies that will get you out of your contract usually unsolicited calls people that are contacting you to get you out of your timeshare is a scam a lot of them are listing agencies and they charge you thousands and thousands of dollars to list your property somewhere obscure that nobody looks and then you're paying them for a lot of money and they just basically put your timeshare on a list and every year you pay them more and more money to keep your timeshare on that list of available things. It's, it's really not a good idea for you to do that. The other thing is uh, some of these companies, if you call them, they might be a lot more legit, but their percentage of success of getting you out of your contract is is not a hundred percent and i'm thinking it's much much less than a hundred percent i've not heard or researched online where someone uh where everybody said oh yeah this is a this is a hundred percent way to get out of your contract and while you're while you're going through your options with that company it's costing you money so be careful of that the other thing is um you may have been told when you bought your timeshare that you can offer to give it away or give it back they said oh if you spend all this money with me here today you can give it back you can during this recension period and they're like oh we'll buy it back that's what they mean and they don't mean forever so if you're two months in and you call your timeshare company and say hey i've changed my mind and i'm going to take you up on your offer to let me give it back to you they're going to say, yeah, right, and sort of laugh. Um, they don't have to give it, they don't have to give you that opportunity. Most of them won't, unless there's some extenuating, extenuating circumstances that you want to try to present to them to convince them. I'm not saying it's never happened. I'm saying I've never heard of it. Never heard of anybody calling three months in and saying, hey, I made a mistake. I want to give this back to you. And them saying, oh, okay. Uh, that it's unheard of okay the other way people say well if you don't like it quit paying for it and they'll take it back well they will but only after months and months of dragging your credit through all sorts of, of bad circumstances okay this this is almost never your best idea the only way this is your best idea is if you deal in cash and you don't need credit to buy anything ever. So if you're trying to protect or keep your credit up, defaulting on your maintenance fees or your loan and having them take it back is not your best idea, okay? Um, so these are kind of your options if you want out of your timeshare. What I suggest you do is when you buy timeshare, buy it the right way. You buy it, resell, and it's probably gonna cost you less at resale value when you buy it from another individual like yourself or mine or me. You buy it for less than $2,000 probably, or they gave it to you. And then when you go to sell it, you sell it for less than two thousand dollars or you give it away now there is a transfer cost in in my particular timeshare it costs five hundred dollars to transfer okay but basically if you if you bought and you have a loan your options are to use it either rent it and try to get some of your money back 
or vacation with it or a combination of both. Now, I do suggest that you learn your timeshare in and out. Um, those perks, they're not worth $60,000, but they could save you some money over the lifetime of your, of your loan or over the lifetime of your use of your timeshare. So, you know, you spend a lot of money on it. Learn to use what you bought most effectively. Spend a lot of time researching and asking questions and figuring out how to squeeze every ounce of worth out of your timeshare. So um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just leave them there and I'll try to answer them later. If you are just out of a um, timeshare presentation and you just bought your timeshare and you're trying to do your due diligence to find out if you should keep it or not, I do have a video uh, just on that topic. So please look at that. It says, um, so you just bought your timeshare, I think is the title of it. So look, look at my videos and find that one and give me a chance to talk to you about the value of what you just bought and better ways perhaps to buy it. So uh, thank you so much. Please subscribe to my um, channel and take a look at the other videos. I'll try to put a video a week or so up. And if you have questions or comments or anything you want me to address specifically, let me know. I'd be glad to do it. Thanks.